Hello, this is Sir Romel and welcome to my channel. Okay, so for our next lesson is multiplying decimal numbers mentally by powers of 10. Okay, so multiplying by power of 10 can be solved mentally. It is just by moving the decimal point to the left and right based on the number of decimal places. Okay, so let's try to look at this sample. A plane travels at the rate of 1800 km per second. How far does it travel in 10 seconds, 100 seconds, or 1000 seconds? Okay, so 1800 times 10, that is equals to 1 and 8 tenths kilometer. 1800 times 100, and that is equals to 18 kilometers. So, 1800 times 1000 seconds. So, that a plane can travels 180 kilometers. So, how did we get these answers? Now, without any computation or solution. So, let's find out. Okay, so let's have the solution. Paano nga ba nakuha yung mga sagot kanina? Okay. So, ang tatandaan lang natin is bilangin lang natin kung ilan yung zeros. Okay. So, number one. So, just write number 18. Yung first step nyo. And then, bilangin yung zero. How many zeros? One. Okay. So, then, move lang natin decimal place ng one. So, Kaya magiging decimal place natin ay 1 place. So, nandito na yung decimal. Kasi, minove natin siya. So, ayun. 1 place. So, the answer is 1 and 8 tenths. And then, next is we have two zeros. So, of course, we have to move the decimal point to the right. How many times? 2 times. So, again, again write number 18. And then move the decimal point 1, 2. So, that will be your answer, 18. Okay, yung decimal point yan. And dito, so since 18 yan, full number na. So, sinusulat na lang natin as 18 without the decimal point. Next one, we have 3 zeros. So, we move the decimal point 3 times. So, again, write number 18. Then move the decimal point three times from here. So one, two, three. So meron siyang space. Anong gagawin? So just add this here. To sa single space na Okay, so your answer here is 100. Okay, so let's proceed. So anto. So we have exponents. So, 1800 times 10 raised to the first power, 1800 times 10 raised to the second power, 1800 times 10 raised to the third power. So, we have, ang tawag natin dito ay exponent, right? So, the same din yan. So, if you are asked to multiply these numbers with 10 with the power of these exponents. So, again, just write number 18. So, exponent, ang sinasabi niyan, you have to move the decimal point once. This is twice. This is thrice. So, since 10 is the first power, so 18, you have to move the decimal point once. One. One. Same thing. So, your answer is 1. 8. Okay. Next is, then again, write number 18. 1800 times... 10 raised to the second power. So, meaning, you have to move the decimal point twice. The number of S's. 1, 2. So, you'll have 1, 2. Your decimal point here. So, since full number yan, di lang natin susulat yung decimal point. So, 18 na lang. Next one is 1800 times 10 to the third power. So, meaning, you have to move the decimal point three times. That long S's. 1, 2. So again, write number 18. 
and then move the decimal point from this point to the right three times. And then we have space, so add zero to the decimal point. And good, so your answer is 108. Okay. Okay, so in multiplying decimals by one tenths, one hundredths, or one thousandths, we count the number of zeros in one tenths, one hundredths, or one thousandths, then move the decimal point to the left based on the number of decimal places. Okay, for example, so the first one is 18 times 1 tenths. So the first thing to do is write number 18. Okay, so and then count the number of places in this number. So we have one decimal place from right to left. So ganun din gagawin natin dito. So asan ba decimal point ng kung number? Yes, very good. Nandito siya. Okay? Pero hindi na natin nilalagay. Why? Kasi whole number siya. So, ngayon, kailangan natin. So, move natin to the left. Once. Okay? So, dito na yung decimal point natin. Okay? So, your answer will be 8. I mean, 1 and 8. Minutes. Okay. For the next one. So, how many decimal places? We have two decimal places. One, two. So, again, write number 18. Okay, then identify nyo kung nasa yung decimal point nyo. Di ba, nandito? Okay. So, move din natin siya na twice. Kasi dalawang decimal place. Na. Okay, so, move natin ang one, two. So, dito yung decimal point. So, your answer would be wait okay, then kasi we don't have to do one two three okay. from right to left okay next number three meron tayong tatlong decimal places one two and three okay so again right number eight then move natin decimal point niya from original position of decimal point tatlo pesos the left one two so dito yung decimal places pero meron tayo space dito so what do we do? we add zero so again three decimal places one two three so sagot natin is decimal point and then zero 
decimal point, di ba? So, two zeros. So, dalawang beses din. So, one, two, and then add zero. So, yung decimal point nyo, mapupunta na dito sa dulo. Kaya, ang sagot nyo is 4,190. So, yung point nyo nandito na sa dulo. Pero, hindi na natin ilalagay yan, okay? Since, yan ay already a whole number. The next one. So, may mal point. So, ilang decimal places, that is 1, 2. So, write down 1, 3, 7. Okay, and then move the decimal point to the left. How many times? 2 times 1, 2. So, it is 1, 2. So, dito yung decimal point. Okay. So, your answer will be 137,000. Let's proceed. Number 5. So, number 5. 3 and 28 hundreds times 10 raised to the third power. So, positive yan. So, ilan? Tatlo. So, meaning, from this number, we are going to move the decimal point where? To the right or left? Okay, very good. Right? Kasi positive yun. Positive 3. So, tatlong beses from this point. Tatlo. 1, 2, 3. And then, what do we do with the space? We add 0. So, kaya magiging point nyo, nandito na siya sa dulo. So, your answer will be, oh, sorry, that's 3,200. Okay. Okay. And the last one, 6,800 times 10 with a negative exponent, which is 2. So, again, write down 68. So, andito yung decimal point niya. Negative. So, that is to the left. How many times? Two times. Okay. So, that is 1, 2. Okay. From this point, minug natin twice. So, dalawa yung space niya. So, ang gagawin? So, dadagdagan din natin ng dalawang zero. Kaya yung sagot niya magiging point zero. 0, 6, and 8. Okay, kasi minub natin from the original position, yung point doon, minub natin siya ng 1, 2, kasi dalawa yung exponent niya, negative exponent. Okay. So, there you go. If you have any questions, then write down the uh, comment section. Thanks for watching and Sana may natutunan kayo kahit konti. And thank for watching again. And see you next time. Keep safe everyone.